Whatever you do, don't feed gremlins after midnight. That's the golden rule. You do not want to get them wet or they reproduce. They multiply and they hatch eggs. Also, do not feed them after midnight. Keep a close eye on them. They're over, all over my room. I'm kidding. Oh, what's up, you guys? Such a boss here. And today, um, I'll be talking to you guys about um, Gremlins 2, the new batch. Um, this is the sequel to the original Gremlins, which came out in the 1980s. This one came out in the early 90s, I, I believe. This is a really funny, um, it's probably a cult classic comedy. Um, Gremlins 2, the new batch, is super funny. NECA does a really good job with the action figures. So hopefully sometime I get the figures in my collection. Now, let's talk about... Um, Gremlins too, and what's If you do not know what the gremlins are, they're a little species that um, Billy got for his birthday. Um, for oh, not his birthday, Christmas. It's a Christmas gift from his father, from his traveling, from his travels. I think he visited uh, New York, and that's where the gremlins are, are from. So he's from Gr New York. I still don't understand where the Chi the Chinese philosopher guy um, found the gremlins in the first place, because um, that guy died in the beginning of this movie. So, oh, oh yeah, I forgot spoilers. So the guy died. Um, the guy, the guy died in the Chinese place. They both wrecked the building to open up for um, Crypt Towers. Crypt Towers, um, which is in a new office building. I want to talk to you guys in a minute. Um, so Gizmo escaped that and got caught by one of the um, laboratory uh, directors at that building, which I thought was hilarious. It was really cute though. Gizmo reminds me a lot of Baby Yoda at this time. So yeah, and now let's talk about this office building where uh, Billy works. Billy has a middle class job. Um, he is a um, employee at Club Towers. Club Towers is owned by a CEO, and it's like almost like the future. There's a lot of tours, a lot of shopping. There's, it's almost like if you go to the Empire State Building, it's almost like the modern version of the Empire State Building. I've been to the Empire State Building myself and went to New York. Um, so um, I don't want to put in those pictures in there, but I was actually there in New York on my birthday. Um, I'll put that out there. Um, so pretty much Billy works there as an art detect. Um, he does um, a lot of cool drawings and art and all sorts of things. Um, one time, uh, so this guy was cleaning up his office and he heard this whistle. <whistles> I can't do the whistle. I can't remember how it goes, but he was whistling. All of a sudden it sounded like Gizmo. So he rushed there and says, hey, my copier bro my copier's broken. So the copier was broken and then Billy found Gizmo. And then that's when the shenanigans start kicking off because um, his girlfriend took home the wrong gremlin because he has to go to a, a, a supposedly date with his a boss, which is kind of creepy. He's actually dating his girlfriend in an apartment. And his, his girlfriend took home the wrong gremlin, and surprise, surprise, um, the girlfriend's relatives show up, and um, it was cr really crazy. And before that, he worked at a bank. Yeah, bank. He kind of discussed that. So it's almost like fourth wall breaking and stuff like that. So the shenanigans break when um, Gizmo accidentally hatched um, eggs from, uh, when he got multiplied because of the water fountain, the guy that was working on it, and everything breaks loose from, from you know, there. I don't spoil too much more about the plot there, but that's pretty much what the plot is. So some of my favorite moments in this show, um, was, I'll talk about the fourth wall really fast, is the scene where... Um, Hulk Hogan appears. He's like, I'm like, what the Hulk starts gonna do to your brother? The, the gremlins have the building, brother. Because the gremlins hacked inside the, uh, uh, the the movie theater and they started playing uh, Seven Dwarfs. So they're one of their favorite movies. If you do not remember from the actual Gremlins movie, uh, that's what happened there. And it was super cute and super funny. I just love the gremlins. I can't tell you how cute they are and how spectacular these characters are. Let's move on to some of my favorite moments and favorite creatures. So my favorite part in the whole movie, if you don't know that, is the um, showdown of the uh, the whole showdown of the uh, cooking show. The cooking show was so funny when they break the fourth wall. Um, it's pretty much one of my favorite part of the whole movie is when all heck break heck breaks loose, pretty much. But I love the cooking scene. It's my favorite part because all of a sudden it's making it's making a soup, and all of a sudden the gremlin popped out of it. Boom! Also, the gremlins got new abilities, such as they can uh, go through electricity, they can be nocturnal, they can be a bat and turn into a gargoyle. Um, there's so many cool th ways uh, gremlins can do in this movie. I don't spoil two of them. One of them is named Brain, and he can talk. Brain can talk, ladies and gentlemen, which is really cute. He has a um, British accent, which is really funny. 
The gremlins are so funny. One of my favorite brain moments is when he sings, New York, New York. You know, New York. New York, New York. Um, he sings that. Um, it was really cool. There's a lot of really clever ways to kill gremlins. Also, there's a female um, gremlin, which is really cool. She has a crush on one of the employees. They're one of the bosses or CEOs of the Corrupt Towers. It's really cool. Also, there's a vampire named uh, Grandpa Bob. Not His name is Grandpa something. But he's a vampire and just a news anchor. It was so funny during the whole battle with the gremlins. If you don't know my favorite part in the actual gremlins movie, it's the part where... Um, the, uh, where Gizmo versus Stripe and the Seven Dwarves and the whole Christmas time scene, just everything with Gizmo, just an amazing. Uh, in the first movie, the bond with Bill, uh, Bobby and Gizmo is really cool. Um, I just really like it. So now I'm talk about fun ways to kill gremlins running and running around your house. So don't use pesticides. Use this. There's also a veggie monster, which is hilarious, and one in the candy machine. It's so funny. These gremlins are so funny. Um, the ways you can kill a gremlin, you can shred them. And a shredding machine. You can also put them through a uh, PG-13, by the way. You can also um, turn them into concrete and turn them into stone so they can fly. Um, make them turn into a gargoyle. Bright light. They uh, they can die from bright light. Keep them away from bright lights. I forgot to put, put that out there in this video. Uh, keep them away from that just because it's gremlins, obviously. And they will take really special care of them. So if you have Gizmo, which is super sweet, and he just reminds me a lot of Baby Yoda. So now let's see Baby Yoda and see if Gizmo should be a good oh, fit. Baby Yoda, Yoda can get along really easily together. Um, because I feel like they're just really cute um, together by Mesco Joker, by the way. Um, Baby Yoda and Gris Gizmo would be adorable. Um, there's also a Lego reference in there, too, which I saw was cool. There's so many cute little moments in the Gremlins. I, I just can't stop like saying how much I love the film. My favorite, this might be one of my favorite movies of all time, like I said. I just love the Gremlins. I love what they can do with all the characters. I love how they can kill them off. I love how they have all different personalities. And it's just like, it's kind of sad when they kill them off because they're so cute. Even though they're little demons, like little devils running around everywhere. It's so cute though. So at the end of the day, I'm going to give this movie a 10 out of 10. Um, this is such a cute movie. Um, I really love the Gremlins to pieces. It just Gremlins a New Batch is amazing. The Gremlins are always a special place in my heart, and I just love the Gremlins, so thanks for guys for watching, and if you guys like and subscribe of this, of this video, and leave any comments if you have questions, and thanks for watching, peace.